Tactical 40K once again. And here I'm going to show you what I've been working on. Um, of course, I couldn't hold off on putting this together to show you like a step-by-step -step how to put this thing together because it was just, uh, I couldn't do a video and the package was just staring at me in, in the face. So I got an impulsor from, what was it, the old, whatever, one of the old Space Marine boxes. It comes with suppressors, eliminators, infiltrators, a, a Phobos Lieutenant, and you get an impulse. Well, I don't want the impulse, or I didn't want to. I did struggle to figure out what I was going to do with it. With 10th edition around, you needed tanks, or tanks are actually pretty good. So I found on Spiky Bits, and a bit, uh, they sell like a kit, a 3D printed kit that allows you to convert your impulsor into a gladiator. And so I ordered that just to see what it was, and it came, you know, within a week and I can't remember what the price was it's not that much but you can go in there um, and check it out anyway well it came in a package all 3d printed and I split them all off uh, of course there's you know like a base layer of resin or whatnot but here's kind of like the color they're kind of like transparent loose or translucent transparent whatever the case they're clear you know resin um, you break them up it has all the parts for all three variants so if you wanted to like this is your kind of one of the gatlin guns pretty good detail one of the uh you know the last talon uh guns there uh the ability to put multi melt uh, you know on the sides uh of course little things i guess i forgot to put that on all right forgot to put that on i don't, I don't know well as you can tell i showed you those pieces so obviously that's not the variant that i chose um in the package so it comes with that and then it comes this is the only bad thing about it is it comes with this granted i have something to shoot on that but that's pretty much your instructions on, on how to build this which you can figure it out um on your impulsor the only thing if you let's say you have your impulsor already built which i did the you got to remember one thing and it is for this thing to fit probably just take this piece off which this is partially painted which this is where the you put your gun or your, I think what's the other one? It's like a uh, grenade launcher, or like the, whatever, the, you know, your turret, your turret piece, you take that off. And then there's a larger turret piece that, that comes with this kit that over uh, goes over the entire opening of the back of the hall. And then of course a door or um, a door, whatever, you know. So I'm gonna show you this. I got it built up here. This is my Lancer. So just, I just, it was already painted somewhat, so I'm just kind of fixing the paint job and went over it with some, kind of making like a semi-digital uh, cami type thing. But anyway, the most more important thing is it looks like a Lancer. It is a Lancer. It has the big gun, the turret rotates. Um, not a bad kit, and especially if you have some impulsors like laying around or an impulsor laying around and you want to get some big guns in on your army uh, for cheap, which is hard to go against the Gladiator tank platform right at the moment in 10th edition, being that they're anywhere from 144 points to 155 points, and you're putting in like this gun here, this Lancer, so I don't have the data card right on me, but I believe it's, a, you know, it's, it's two shots, strength 16. This Lance, the Lancer here gives you uh, the ability for Reroll uh, hits, wounds, and damage, I believe. So it's almost like having an Oath of Moment, you know, platform uh, for the Space Marines. Of course, you got different capabilities for the different variants. I believe the Gatling gun, you can get like sustain two on anti infantry, and I can't remember what the, the last talent one is. But the Lancer, that's what I picked because it's the cheapest of the version. It gives you that strength 16. I think it's like a D6 plus 4 damage to you on there or something like that. I can't remember, like maybe a negative 3, negative 4 AP. But anyway, it's a big gun, and I needed some anti-monster, um, anti-vehicle stuff in my army. So I was like, for 144, 45 points, it's hard to beat that. And why use this impulse? just laying around. We built it. So then, you know, we're going to include some other... Uh, things in the army but also included that like the next video because i'm going to end this right here because i just wanted to show you that this is what it looks like after you do the rebuild but the next video i'm going to show you my thousand point list and this guy's on it um and being able to carry that kind of what we oh if, oh if you're a raven guardy dude this six company i just put the markings on the side of the turret there because when i was looking it up it looks like six companies where a lot of the battle tanks are 
a reserve company, but anyway, um, we are, we, it's, we call that in military terms, ass, having a lot of ass in your army. So it's like the big guns. Having that in a thousand point uh, list is, is, is gonna be helpful. Um, not only that, it puts out some other shots too. Uh, but 445 points, it's hard to beat. Um, we're looking at some other stuff to put in there, uh, especially in our bigger list when it comes to vehicles. But anyway, I wanted to show you that conversion. I'm still in the midst of this. I guess I should have talked about it a little bit more at the backside. I'm still uh, gotta do a little bit more on the paint. Uh, gotta deal with this dude here. I'm, Probably gonna leave him in I guess it says like a driver um, touch up a few things but overall I'm happy with the, the print everything kind of fit there's a few little gaps in there uh, but overall you, I saved the usefulness of the impulsor otherwise I was gonna try to get rid of it or whatnot but uh, glad I found that kit anyway spiky bits has it check it out